Buying a cyclone is kind of like being in an abusive relationship. It's got crazy highs and crazy lows, okay? So. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. I wanna to talk today about the cyclone motor and how to wire it up. I've been getting a lot of questions about wiring issues because if you know, if you've bought the cyclone motor, you know it is not a very easy install. A lot of things don't make sense. They're not labeled correctly. And I know that I'm a big fan of it. So I'm kind of, I am pushing this and I'm maybe getting people excited, but it is definitely a difficult install. And so I wanted to make a video on how to hook it up basically, and then you could add in accessories, different sensors to make it your own. But definitely this kit is not for the faint of heart. If this is your first install, probably don't recommend getting this. I'd recommend going with the Bafang kit, kind of get familiar with it, and then go on to a Cyclone. But if you're already here, if you already got a Cyclone in your hands and you're like, what am I doing? Where does this wire go to here? I'm gonna go over how to connect it in a very basic way. So let's go down. I'm gonna open up the kit and show you how to connect it. Okay, so you can see you got the battery goes into the lead that comes off of your wire harness. This is unused. You don't need this. And that goes into the controller. Your wire harness here just plugs in nice and easy. Make sure those arrows are connected, pointing to each other. And this comes off of the throttle. And you can see these two. That's labeled throttle. And it goes into that one. And then there's another blue, blue and yellow one go into this red and pink wire. And then if you have a display, the display just comes into that right there. This is also unused. And that's it. Okay, so you can see it's not very difficult to connect this thing. There's a lot of unused wires. A lot of these connectors are for your pedal assist sensor, your gear shift sensor, brake cutoffs. Those are extras. Now just be aware, if you do get those, depending on which controller you get and which spray cutoff, you will have to do some custom wiring. You may have to just splice off those connectors and plug them in. Hopefully this video helps you guys. Um, as you can see, this the Cyclone motor is a lot more difficult than a Bafang motor. So I just want you to be warned, but obviously if you're looking for crazy amount of power, there's nothing that beats this motor kit dollar for dollar. It's the best watt per dollar motor kit out there. So if you're looking for crazy illegal, power speeds, this is the motor kit to go. But you know, this is gonna put tremendous strain on your bike, just beware, but that's how you hook it up. I'll make another video on how to do it, the install on the actual physical parts of the motor, how to physically mount the motor onto your bike, but stay tuned for that, that'll come later. Uh, I just thought I would get this put up now because I get asked this a lot. Be patient, that's all I can say. Know what you're getting into. I'm, I'm trying to warn you now, you've been warned. Hopefully that helps. Later.